doing something I have never done before, and that is make a southern cherry cobbler. It has a filling, it has a topping. I'm by myself since Tom is sleeping right now. He's taking a nap. I've done baking before, but nothing quite like this. I was gonna do a cherry pie, but I didn't really have the patience for that. If I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of the same thing. It's just not a pie. It says set it to 400. Our oven gets pretty hot, pretty fast, pretty old. So I'm gonna set it to um, 375. So that's done. Easiest step, I must say. Turn on the oven. Next says have chairs and pit. So luckily, my amazing husband made this job easy for me. He already pitted and had the cherries. Thank you, Tom. So it says, place in a large mixing bowl. Find that mixing bowl. So it says, place in a large mixing bowl. Cherries are going in. Ha, yeah, you probably see me better. So yeah, all my ingredients are over here. So if I go over here occasionally, you know why. So I need sugar, this guy, sugar, cornstarch, lemon juice, and almond extract. Look how pretty this bottle is. I have to hunch down. Am I getting muscles from my working out? No? Yes? Oh, add sugar. I didn't see the S at the end, so I need my trusty Do you guys love putting brown sugar in oatmeal? I do. So one fourth of brown sugar. I really hope I don't burn this or mess this up. Because that would be horrific. This is Pat. Now the brightest is too bright. Gosh, son, why? Okay. So I packed brown sugar. when you use a knife. So I use one for pop. Ooh, looks pretty. Need two teaspoons. Teaspoon. That's one. Another teaspoon. I need one teaspoon. That's it. Okay. So I'm just gonna do it over the sink. Because with baking, I guess you have to be that. Oh no, there's seeds in it. Okay. Is that it? I have, I have a burn. I have a burn. I have it, Sal. Oh. I hope you guys want to follow this recipe. If you do, I will link the um, recipe down below. If at all interested. <coughs> Don't breathe that in. Now what? And stir to combine. So that's stirred. Then I gotta spray my nine by thirteen. It's pretty blue color. And then it says to pour cherry mixture into prepared baking dish. So just put all that in there. <coughs> kind of mix it around. I have to bake this for 10 minutes. Wave. Oh, look at that. It says, meanwhile, prepare topping. Oh. So it says, mix flour, sugars, baking powder, and salt with the wooden spoon. The recipe calls for unbleached flour. How much do you need? Two cups. Okay. So I know you don't pat down flour. I've learned that in culinary school and high school. So I just use a knife to 
level it. So I do one and two. And it says sugars. What sugars do I need? Do I need both brown and white? Yep, I do need brown and white again. Okay. So it's packed, so we really gotta pack it in there. I love brown sugar. Go. Baking powder, two teaspoons. I keep forgetting. Okay. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two. I was, I was doubting myself. Hannah, stop doubting yourself. One teaspoon of sea salt. So I gotta mix this with a wooden spoon. Maybe a little trash pile. Cut and bud with a pastry blender. Okay, do we have a pastry blender? It's a very scary pot. I have to. Not that. Not that. This. I have to. Until it's coarse and crumbs form. I need muscle. This is where Tom comes in handy. I'm not sure if this is even the right thing to use. Oh. Oh. Note to self, put pastry blender on target list. wasn't easy after all. Just <sighs> there's a huge mess. <laughs> I'll be doing some cleaning up or Tommy. I'll be Tom. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. How much how much hot water? Half a cup. Half a cup. Oh, just a little more. Nope, too much. Oh I shouldn't have dumped that out. If I need more. Half a cup. Woohoo! Oh, it's hot. And stir until moistened. Uh, does anybody else not like that word or just me? Here's the batter. Well, they call it the topping. And here's my messiness. Eek! Here are the cherries. They're still, they're still hot. Okay, dollop. Oh, dollop. <laughs> I'm just gonna eyeball it and just sprinkle it all over. My friends, I think it is ready to put in the oven. Here's the. Doesn't really want to focus, does it today? There we go. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes, as I said. I might do 30 and see how it looks, but I'll probably show you guys the end result. And hopefully, Tom will be awake to do a taste test. If not, I will force you to to sleep. Just kidding. Hello, so in case you're wondering, I am still alive for the record, so. He was just sleeping. Yeah, I guess I was more tired than I realized. Anyway, this is the final result that it's been, Hannah's been working on. It's been out for about an hour, I say. We just had a um, little bit of dinner. So now I'm gonna cut it up and prepare it. We're gonna have it a la mode. 
looks like no cherry. <laughs> How many cherries do you think are in this, love? Mm -hmm. You pitted them. I did pit them. I did a good job, mm -hmm. too. <laughs> what are you crying? I want some chewy. We heat it up for about 20 seconds so I can get hot so ice cream can melt. I took my lactase pills. Good job. I took a bite of ice cream and then I... How fun is it being lactose intolerant? Not fun. There you go. Am I good enough? Looks good. Okay. Now, you're the official taste tester. I'm... Uh, me? Yep. Why me? I'm the one who made it. Fine. Look at that. You should have set it at a good angle. Excuse me, sir. Let me maybe help you. I get ice cream in it too, sorry. You're adorable. How'd I do, Chief? Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Is it good? I did good! That's really good. Really? Okay, yeah, I'm trying to. A lot of flavor. How, how bad was the making of it? Because I wasn't there for that. It was hard. Hi, Bez. What you want? Oh, Plus, oh. here. He likes a little bit of ice cream. Sophie, come here. The good? 